think he's going to be able to hold it. Who's here for the bobsled team? Anybody? I am. Hey, my name is Ray Valentine, and I attend Kaiser University. And today, we're going to be talking about the injuries that someone may encounter when it comes to bobsled. Now, one may ask, well, what causes injuries when it comes to bobsledding? Well, one of the injuries, the most common injury that someone could uh, suffer from bobsledding would be a concussion. Well, a concussion would means that you have bleeding in your brain, which could probably cause a, a hematoma in your brain, which is bleeding, uh, and that happens over time. So you could only imagine going at a velocity of hmm, 85 miles an hour and you happen to crash, then what happens? Let's pause right there. So the question would be, what do you think the most common injury would be for someone in bobsledding? We got the gentleman in the back, Richard. I think the most common injury would be is a concussion or I... some bone structure injury than the four people inside the box. Yes, thank you for that answer. Body movement uh, in a box sled that has crashed would definitely cause some uh, joints to move around. That's the second injury. So first, we may have a concussion. The second injury is body joints being maybe even dislocated. What are some of the equipments that one might use? Well, helmets. So from 1910, when bobsled originated in Germany, now we have the Olympics in the USA. Uh, this is now given uh, rays or evolution, if I could say, to the different equipments used in bobsledding. So the helmets would have to be uh, very tough to prevent someone from having a concussion. We'll pause right there. Ah, so the equipment for bobsledding. Well, it has to be pretty tough. So the different helmets involved uh, would have to be something like a, a foam and fiberglass. Another thing too is uh, the way it's made. Research has shown that you want to have in-mold helmets. Now we're gonna have a couple of pictures of what an in-mold helmet uh, may be, as well as an injection molded helmet. These are just two helmets alone. Because of the most common injury of concussions, you want to wear these type of helmets uh, to help you give you less concussion. What's another thing? Well, the kind of gear, uh, most bobsledding uh, is done in the cold. So an injury of frostbite. What about the clothing one is wearing? Well, a couple layers might help. This would be an example of an in-mold helmet used for bobsledding. As you can see that this helmet is a little bit more padding, a lot more padding uh, for concussion, for bobsledding. Um, you can see right here around, it's just that padding, so if you happen to get hit, it wouldn't be so dramatic. Yeah, that's pretty cool.